Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have something special for you guys. I want to do something stylized modeling for you guys. I'm not going to focus in textures or sculpting right now. Right now. I'm just going to focus on how to get the right proportion for this kind of modeling. And all right, let's just dive in. I'm going to delete the default cube and I'm going to add uh, the cylinder. And right now I'm just going to select uh, active element and have this uh, selected right here, increment and absolute good snap so uh, i'm gonna select this one right now i'm gonna put it on the top something like that and i'm gonna put this one a little more bigger kind of like right there all right and let me just go to shades move i'm gonna put it right here go to um uh the vertices go to uh normals out of smooth and turn that off again gonna uh, control r i'm gonna add some subdivisions right here and I'm gonna activate, uh, I'm gonna select this one right now. I'm gonna select O for activating the proportional editing. And I'm going to hit scale, and you see uh, it's scaling everything proportionally. And I'm gonna kind of like, uh, you know what? Let me add some more subdivisions here. Kind of like this. Gonna go something like that. And I'm gonna select, actually I'm going to medium point. This is better. There you go. Because now it's just killing from right from the middle. In the middle of that selection right there. Can we actually... Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's do it like that. A little, kind of like this. All right, I think this is gonna be better. This is gonna be a really good structure for the whole barrel. Right, and what we're gonna do now is we're not gonna focus on details, we're gonna focus on blocking out the whole shape of the barrel. All right, so right away, we're going to delete this caps right here. Sorry, that one right there. Gonna X, delete faces, gonna go and we're gonna add a modifier. Uh, the modifier is going to be solidify. Solidify creates a structure uh, mesh, so you can see it has some volume right there if you don't want to extrude anything right now. I think this is. Uh, I'm gonna go with 1.105. Yeah, it's a bit more exact. That's gonna be fine for now. And right now, we're just going to create the top and the rings uh, for uh, the barrel. So let's do that. Let's do that right away. And let's see. Let's go. To, let's go to the rings first. Yeah, let's go to the rings. I'm going to. Um, Select this two right here. I'm gonna duplicate. Uh, keep it on the same spot. I'm going to um, separate the selection. You press P. It's gonna separate any selection that you have. I'm gonna select this one right here. I'm gonna double G. Let me deactivate the uh, proportional editing. Double G, and I'm gonna kind of like right there. Do the same with this one. Double G, and just create uh, the rings is following along the. Uh, and we're gonna go uh, negative value here, and we're gonna select uh, only rim because we're not gonna you're not interested in the inside of the kind of like yeah something like that. And now we're gonna add a bevel. And you see what I mean? Um, okay, this gonna apply the scale, and we're gonna select something like something like that. And if I go here for a second right now, and if I don't have this only rim, you see it's gonna create an interior bevel also because we have faces in the inside. So in this case, he's not gonna create, uh, what, what, what is that? What just happened? Oh, okay, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> the rim. Uh, we're, gonna, uh, we're not gonna activate the interior rim for this model, so this is gonna be fine. We're gonna add another modifier, it's gonna be the mirror modifier. I'm gonna show you some, a real uh, interesting trick uh, in case you don't want to move the middle point of this selection, let me, let me go and move the pivot point right here. That's uh, you're gonna do selection. You're gonna select something. You're gonna press Shift S, and you're gonna select cursor to select it. And it's gonna move the 3D cursor right there. If you go to out of edit mode, you're gonna right click and select uh, set origin. Go to origin to the 3D cursor, and it's gonna move it the 3D cursor right there because usually it was right there. I mean the pivot point right there. Anyways, so right now if you apply the mirror modifier, 
he's not doing anything and we're gonna put we wanted to go in the opposite direction right here on, right at the bottom but the pivot point remember that the mirror uses the middle point to mirror something okay and right now it's mirroring the x-axis we're gonna go with the z-axis you see it's, uh, it's something it's right there but it's not doing the, what we want so we're gonna select this one right here and we're going to select that the barrel and right away we're gonna uh, we need to put the, the middle point of the barrel right there because he's using the middle the you see that he's using uh, the barrel as a middle point so um, like a pivot point actually that's what what's what doing because I don't want to use I don't want to uh, create a, uh, a middle point right there a pivot point right there in the middle just because if I want to rotate this I want it to be free right there in that position right there because if you move the pivot point right here it's gonna rotate from that point from anyways I think you get the point <laughs> so let me just select this one right here and I'm going to create another selection I'm gonna do this kind of like another subdivision and I'm going to kind of like a little like this kind of like this there you go all right I'm gonna select those three right there and I'm gonna duplicate a little bit in the same spot P for separate selection and I'm gonna select it and we're gonna do the same thing so we're gonna just basically gonna copy uh, everything from this model but first we just adjust this double G to slide there you go and now we're gonna select this one right now and we're gonna copy Control L and we're gonna select make links we're gonna select modifiers but the only thing that we don't want from here is the actual the mirror we don't need the mirror right now so now we have the same bevel and we have the same uh, solidify right there this is something real quick and real simple all right so now that we have the uh, the outside metal rims we're gonna do the, the top uh, the, the thing the, the top cover and the caps all right so basically we're gonna uh, create a cursor right there we're gonna add a circle something like that we're gonna scale that down go to the front kind of like this <clears throat> there you go something to fit we're gonna go to the top and we're gonna do something real simple right here we're gonna select that we're gonna press F and P selection and do the same here F P and selection and do the same with this one F P selection and just F there you go so what we did right now is um, we created a face and then we select we um, separated that in a different selection of a different model the different object whatever you want to call it now we have all of this right now and if you go something like this you can see that it two different models so we're gonna um, we're just going to select one of those and we're gonna go here for a second we're gonna add solidify just gonna add some kind of structure right there even though we're not gonna see anything from the bottom so we're just gonna only rim fill the rim yeah 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 we're gonna do that because we need the bevel so we're going to add a bevel modifier gonna angle and width and we're gonna select something here something like that let's go to 30 there you go and we're gonna select those three and hit that one last control L hit modifier and we're gonna copy all of those same and same oh actually there you go all right so now that we have that we're going to just unhide everything we have it right there and we're actually gonna move it down just a little bit oops kind of like right there we're gonna scale scale it up just a little bit Gonna apply the scale there you go and we're gonna duplicate this one we're gonna put it on the bottom also if you like you can actually create a mirror use the thing whatever you want to do and it actually works too so we're going to just duplicate move it to the to the bottom and rotate in the white axis and kind of like something like that there you go we're almost done, so we just need to uh, focus right now on, on the barrel and the main body. And we're going to do kind of like the same process that we did with this one right here. We're going to do something similar. 
you can select only the variable gonna uh, hide everything else but the body and that you can do it by pressing selecting the object press shift and h and it's gonna hide unselected whatever is not selected is gonna be hidden and there you go okay so we're gonna just go here and we're gonna select for example we go just select three so we go to the faces it's a better selection and we're gonna select from uh every four every four faces every four loops or whatever subdivisions whatever you want to call it we're gonna separate those we're gonna select press p selection and we're gonna do the same process here p selection uh select those four P selection same here P selection right there and we're gonna repeat that process over and over so we have the right faces and that one is gonna stay because that's the actual main object there you go so we had now all of those separate objects right now because I want to do a very detailed high res model for for this project so what we're going to do now is going to select everything Control a scale I'll apply the scale right now and we're going to apply the bevel right now to this one i'm going to go here and go to bevel and angle with and we're going to select something like this there you go and we're going to select everything and that one's going to stay selected the last I'm gonna do the same process, modifiers, and there you go. Just looking good. All right, so what we're gonna do now is going to select, like I said, this one right here. And the good thing from this new blend is you can edit two objects at the same time, even though they're not in the same model. So that's something really awesome. I'm gonna select that one and this one right here. I'm gonna do the same process, just um, to have a little variation. Um, we're gonna do the same thing here with those two top um, with the bottom sample like that I'm gonna do the same with this one we can actually double G into just something like that we're gonna to unhide everything and there we have it nice so now we're gonna add the um, the actual bolts and I don't know I'm not sure if we let me just select everything here and scale it down let's go Looks too big. Same here, scale it down. There you go, something like this. Alright, I think this looks good. Looks I like it. And I don't know, uh, you know what? Yeah, let, let's let's do it. And if we decide later on if we, we're gonna keep it, yeah, well, let's we can do that. If not, we just not. So just add the bolts. I'm gonna select this one right here. I'm gonna add the cursor right there. Chief S cursor is selected. The cursor is gonna be right there. You can add a box or a cube, whatever you're gonna call it, depending on the tool you're working on. The blender is actually is cube. You go. I don't know. No, the tool can be something else. It can be a box. Anyways, so I'm gonna uh, control two for uh, two levels of divisions here. I'm going to. Add another subdivision right there. I'm gonna tie it up. And you're gonna move it right there. I'm gonna kind of like this. I'm gonna select those two and tie it up. And we're only gonna pull a few of this. We're not gonna use too much of this. So we can actually use, let's see. We're gonna, I'm, I'm gonna use a mirror for this. So let's see. I'm gonna put a mirror, mirror modifier. There you go. And we're going to mirror from the middle of this thing right here. And we're gonna add. Where's the mirror? Okay, right there. And we're gonna go. Oh shoot. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna wide. Something like that. I'm gonna go. And we're going to duplicate this guy right here, but we're gonna move, rotate from the center at this point. We're gonna move the cursor to that position right there, right in the middle. We're gonna press uh, dot in the keyword and go to 3D cursor, going to the top, we're gonna duplicate, we're gonna press R, Z, and let's go with 90 degree. And now that we have it right here, we're gonna press X, and we have it kind of like that. We can we can change this later. It doesn't. Let me select this too. 
yeah, let's do that. And <clears throat> now that we have this one, we're gonna select actually this one right here. Okay, do the same process, this one. There you go. And we're gonna go to Z axis and we're gonna go to Z axis too. So we have something like that. And we're gonna go, we're going to duplicate those. We're gonna go something like, but we're gonna take off this one, the Z axis. Okay, so we're gonna unhide everything. Take the z-axis off, unhide. I'm gonna move it to the outside, and I'm gonna take off the two decrease. I'm gonna individual for now, right there. Jesus, oh god, <laughs> I hate that. So we're gonna move it right there. Sorry. There. So now we have it. All right, there we go. That was that was a quick one, right? And and the sculpting process this is gonna be so much fun because we're gonna have those uh, scratches right there, and that deformation. We're gonna have a lot of damage to metal. Yeah, we're gonna make this really fun right now. Not right now, but in the next one. All right. So guys, thank thank you so much for watching and. See you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.